Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Okay, hello guys. It's me, Forhas, and today I'm gonna show you the basic knowledge before we riding the scooter. So, this is the basic knowledge, basic parts, feature of the scooter. Uh, this one, I use the Honda Honda Beat fuel injection. This is the entry level scooter, very cheap, the cheapest on the market in my country and it's only have a basic feature and basic parts okay the scooter is 110 cc it's very entry level it's not really powerful but that's enough if you're riding on the road that's enough and this is really good fuel consumption and yeah this is the basic scooter so let's see what what's on the scooter we start from the left side there is a mirror you need to use it to see what's on your back and we move to this rear brake lever for the rear tire <coughs> this rear brake lever and this is the high beam, low beam for the main light low beam for short distance and high beam for long distance if you want to see a little bit further you use the high beam but normally use the low beam and this is the horn let's try this and you can hear that, the sound and this is the turning signal if you push it to the left it's turning to the left let's see if it works yeah it works it's turning to the left and if you push it to the right it will the turning signal is on and the lamp is on for you to turn in the light to the right to the right so it's on and it's on it's good it's all good and we go to the right side this is the right mirror so yeah it's basically the same you want to turn into the right you need to look at this and look what on your back if there is a another vehicle and this is the front wheel brake the front brake this is different a little bit different the front brake has this type of disc brake and I could say the the power the braking the braking power is I could say it's almost twice of this rear brake so but we need to use it like at the same time and simultaneously uh, with the right power okay then this the throttle you need to know this handle bar can be twist the left side cannot be twist so wait the one on the right side you cannot twist this is the throttle so this is the main the main power of the whole scooter it's just like the gas pedal on your car just like that if you want to give it some power you need to twist it backwards towards you just like this yeah towards you like this okay and this is the self starter or electric starter and uh, basically that's all on this area we have this dashboard this is the engine brake signal so before you turn it on the engine the engine brake uh, notification or signal here will be turned off and if the engine is good then it will turn off just like this it's on it's good and it's off and this is the turning signal 
and this is the high beam it's only work when you use the high beam and this is the speedometer it's show you how you ride your riding speed it's on kilometer per hour and this is the fuel the fuel capacity is E for empty F for full and I usually maintain on the white bar not to get close to the right bar because it's near the empty so every time it's almost get to the red bar I need to refuel it and this is the kilometer so this showing how many kilometers that I've ride with this scooter it's 24,879 kilometers with the scooter I use it from 2016 now 2020 it's almost four years and we go to another part this is the foot rest for the driver and oh yeah I almost forgot this is the ignition this is the key and this is the ignition you need to stick the key on the ignition and turn it right to start the engine this is the kickstand it's also a feature to cut off your engine so whenever the kickstand is down like this you cannot start the engine and this is the center stand this is the rear footstep for the passenger and this is the kickstarter okay after you know all the basic parts and basic feature of the scooter you need to use your gears I usually use these gears for riding uh, this is a pair of gloves always use helmet uh, either is a half face or full face I use the full face and use a long sleeve minimum you can use jackets also use the long pants jeans in particular I use jeans and a shoe so whenever you uh, learn to ride the scooter if you fall it's you have a protection uh, minimum level and yeah after you know all the parts then what you do next is you sit on the scooter uh, feel feel it and you can uh, pretend imagine if you on the road or if you just a couple meters from here and you're riding the scooter you feel it and if you want to turn you turn the signal on if you want to turn to the left you turn signal if you see someone like uh, interrupting your your way you can use the horn to make sure them know you wanna pass just like that and yeah basically that's all the feature that's very minimum like <laughs> three button three button and it's just only used on an at the night the high beam low beam it's basically it's two buttons basically just two buttons and yeah that's all you need to make yourself comfort you make yourself uh, in a very position that you really really comfort on the scooter and last but not least this is the position on my hand the usual when I riding the scooter so you can check this out two fingers of each hand is on the brake lever but it's not squeeze it or hold it it's just put it there just like this just put it there like this can you see that yeah so this is important for me uh, I usually uh, do some braking and I need my 
two fingers to steady on this leverage bolt leverage and it's not like this <laughs> i i never do like this since i can ride the scooter or motorcycle i always use this this uh finger is always on the brake lever so whenever i want to stop whenever i want to brake i need to squeeze it it's ready on the lever so yeah that's all i think and you need to get use yourself on the scooter before you start to ride okay thanks for watching and see you in the next video